As always, my first step is to prep and prime the lids, and today I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. The first shade I'm going in with is Oatmeal Tan by Coastal Scents, and I'm applying this to the crease with a fluffy blending brush as my first transition color. Using the same brush, I'm taking the shade Texture by MAC and I'm sweeping this into the crease to add a little more warmth and depth to my transition color. Next, I'm taking a pointed brush in the shade Maroon Berry by Coastal Scents and I'm focusing this shade into the outer V, then softly blending the color in short circular motions with a clean blending brush. And as you can see, I'm layering and blending this color until I reach my desired intensity. To deepen and define the outer V, I'm going back in with Sketch Eyeshadow by MAC. This is really going to help give the eye some shape and contrast. And again, I'm layering and blending the color until I reach my desired intensity. To highlight the brow bone, I went in with Vanilla Eyeshadow by MAC on a fluffy blending brush. Next I'm going in with Ivory Dust Eyeshadow by Coastal Scents and I'm applying this to the bare space on my lids. This is a beautiful creamy ivory shade with gold shimmer, but I really wanted to intensify it a bit. So afterwards, I'm spritzing my brush with a little Fix Plus and applying Madison Street Beauty's pigment in white gold. I still wanted a little more sparkle, so on top of that, I'm adding a bit of Max Glitter in Reflex Gold. Next, I'm lining my waterline with a black pencil, and then I'm smudging a mixture of Maroon Berry and Sketch to my lower lash line. I'll also be lining my upper lash line, applying a pair of falsies, and a couple coats of mascara.
Moving on to the face, I've already applied my foundation, concealer, and powder. So I'm just gonna contour with Taupe Blush by MAC and a pointed contour brush by e.l.f. I wanted to give a soft flush of color to the cheeks, so I'm applying a mixture of two blushes by MAC and Cantaloupe and Fleeting Romance. For that soft, dewy glow, I'm highlighting with Max Cream Color Base in Hush. I decided I wanted a little more shine to my highlight. So I'm going back in with another cream color base in Shell. Moving on to the lips, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral, but I still wanted full lush looking lips. So I'm first using Nika K's lip liner in Nude to line my lips. Then I'm applying a matte lipstick by MAC called Yash. To really achieve that luscious look I want, I'm taking Max Plush Glass in Wildly Lush and applying that to the center of my lips working outwards. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this holiday makeup tutorial. Again, all of the products used will be listed down below. Don't forget to check out my blog for more pictures. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And this is the C110 brush. And this is comparable to Max 134 brush. Very, very similar. I 